it's no secret that Wilmington has a less than desirable reputation. Throughout the years, the city's value has become diminished in the eyes of many. People have questioned, what good can come out of Wilmington? This same sentiment was voiced about another city over 2,000 years ago. Nazareth, exclaimed Nathaniel, can anything good come from Nazareth? Come and see for yourself, Philip replied. Nathaniel will soon discover that Jesus Christ himself was found in Nazareth. Will the same be said about Wilmington? In 1947, Pastor Herbert and Edna Ezel moved from Anaheim to become the new leaders of the growing church in East Wilmington. Even though Pastor Herbert was aware of the dangerous and tough conditions in the city, he saw the region's value and followed the call of God. My parents were uh, called to pastor the church and um, it was on the east side of Wilmington on Blinn and PCH for one year. My dad knew that we would outgrow the current facility, so the congregation bought a piece of property at 1551 Wilmington Boulevard. And a year later, we started building. It was built by volunteer labor and many, many hours. And it was a fun, fun season where everybody, the whole church family came together and built this exciting new building for us. With a new location came a new name, Boulevard, Assembly of God. There were frequent prayer meetings and revival services, often lasting into the early morning hours. The worship and preaching were always lively and spirit-filled. While Pastor Herbert taught the uncompromising Word of God, he also understood the difference between biblical principles and man-made religious traditions. Through his ministry, the old ways of thinking began to change, but the gospel message maintained its integrity. In 1961, Pastor Herbert took a sabbatical and Pastor Leonard Nipper led the church until 1970, when Pastor Herbert returned, filled with the power and anointing of the Holy Spirit. A dynamic new era in the life of the church started, and it was confirmed with mighty miracles, signs, and wonders. In 1973, the name of the church was officially changed to Harbor Christian Center. God used Pastor Herbert to create a space where people from all backgrounds, ethnicities, and ages felt welcomed and accepted. My dad used to call Harbor Christian Center a chef salad, a little bit of everything. The 70s at Harbor Christian Center were characterized by life-changing teachings from guest speakers such as Derek Prince, Kenneth Copeland, and Kenneth Hagan. In 1974, Pastor Herbert accepted an invitation to teach about the Holy Spirit in Los Mochis, Mexico. During this time of ministry, Father Lomeli, a Roman Catholic priest, was baptized in the Holy Spirit. We ended up buying a church plane because they would go down there so often and minister. And the bishops got mad because of his opening the door to the Holy Spirit. And so they would, they would teach outside in buildings or in homes. And there are probably thousands of, of Catholic b believers who are spirit-filled and, and worship God in spirit and truth as a result of that one invitation. Even after surviving a plane crash, the team continued to minister in Mexico following the purchase of a new airplane. Pastor Herbert always saw the importance of investing in the next generation. In 1978, his vision for a Christian school was realized when Happy Harbor Preschool opened its doors with eight students. It soon grew into Pacific Harbor Christian School, including grades K through 12. Well, for me personally, what makes Wilmington special, it's the place that God had to bring me uh, to meet him. You know, I grew up in Chino. Uh, I was living a life that uh, had no hope. I had no, uh, you know, everything I tried didn't work and uh, really had had uh, uh, in my mind that there was no hope for me, that I was never going to change and that things were never going to change. They were always going to be the same. 
uh, someone gave me an opportunity to come to a, a men's program and it just so happened to be in a city that I never heard of called Wilmington. It was in 1987 in December. Uh, the day that I came to Wilmington, it was a tug of war. Just, you know, should I go or should I not go? Is it gonna work? Is it not gonna work? And, and uh, just watching, um, seeing now, looking back and seeing God's hand upon everything. People think that uh, Wilmington is whatever, but I, I, I look at Wilmington as the place where I met Jesus. And so uh, Wilmington has a special place in, in my heart. It's also the only place that we've ever gone to church. Pastor Herbert died unexpectedly on September 9th, 1986. A few weeks later, his son and daughter-in-law, Don and Linda Ezel, became the new pastors of the church. Under Pastor Don and Linda's leadership, Harbor Christian Center continued to be a beacon of hope for many. The most valuable gift to the world, Jesus, was being found in Wilmington. The good that can come out of Wilmington is a revival that not only reaches Wilmington, the South Bay, California, the states, the world for Jesus, and it could start right here uh, in our city.